Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of June 18th through the 24th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, we have three of wands, king of wands, four of pentacles, and the tower. Temperance. Judgment, Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So right off the bat, just intuitively, I feel like a lot of you may be going through, um, you know, kind of like the preparation or planning stage for something that's going to happen in your life in the near future. Um, I feel like a lot of you are planning on doing something. I feel like this could be a move. Um, it could be an, an investment of some sort. I feel like right now what you're thinking is, okay, I know I want to do that at some point. What do I have to do now to be prepared either financially, mentally, generally, emotionally? You know, I feel like at some point you're, you're going to need to like devise a strategy. And I feel like that point may be right now where you're realizing, okay, if I'm going to do this correctly, if I'm going to do this effectively, I need to start planning my strategy or you know just my uh, path here i feel like you're paving the way for something and for a lot of you it's coming through as an expansion of some sort whether this is you expanding your horizon by choosing to move and go towards a new place to see where you know life can take you after the fact or this is you expanding by trying to maybe just add to your home maybe you want to make your home more comfortable maybe you want to by a new home, you know, within the same place. However, this is, I feel like the expansion here is very important to you, not just on a surface level. This is not just about having maybe more, um, you know, comfort as far as tangible material things, but I feel like this is you trying to establish a home for yourself that you can really feel comfortable in. For some reason, what I'm getting here, Scorpio, is that for a lot of you, you haven't felt home you haven't felt like you've been home for a while or home to you has just been, you know, a place of transformation and evolution. But right now, it really does seem like you want home to be the place where you can finally just rest and enjoy life. So while this expansion for some of you could literally be about moving or, you know, traversing some sort of space and time in order to reach a destination that you feel is yours for others this could be as simple as you choosing to change the way you live your life maybe this is changing your job so that it's more accommodating to your lifestyle to, to what matters to you uh, maybe this is you expanding your life as far as trying to find ways to increase your income without having to do extra work so that you can attend to your priorities so in a lot of ways um, and in a lot of different ways, you obviously can, you know, take this how it resonates to you. But basically, Scorpio is going through a moment where they're having to really realize where their priorities are and how they can align things so that they're, you know, in the perfect position to achieve that outcome that they're looking for. Specifically, when it comes to money, I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, this is you saying, okay, I've got to make some serious changes in how I spend, or maybe I just need to look at my budget. How do I adjust this? How do I adjust that? I feel like a lot of you have a savings account. And while the savings account may be, you know, a general one, maybe it's just the general savings account. For a lot of you, I feel like there's, you name it something, right? Maybe this is your rainy day account. Maybe this is your survival account. Maybe this is your, I don't know, for some reason that's coming through. It's like when you think about the money that you've been saving for, you know, whatever it is that you're saving it for, like, I feel like you attribute some concept to it because that gives it purpose and meaning. And it's not you just saving money to save money. So for some of you, this is intentional. And for a lot of you, this is for the thing that you're trying to do now, right? This is all connected to that expansion. Some of you want to buy a home. Some of you want to invest. Some of you want to feel just financially secure. And you're working very, very hard at this time to assure that. And I feel like there's a connection there too. You know, you making sure that you're still putting money into that or finding ways to not feel so stressed out when it comes to finances. Um, because even though money may not be the most important thing, I feel like a lot of you understand that it is a tool and it does make things easier. Um, but there's definitely intention behind that. It's it's very relevant at this time. With the tower and the temperance, I feel like you're going to have a breakthrough of some sort of some sort. Because uh, I feel like there's something that you've been waiting to happen. I feel like you've been hoping and praying for something to finally 
um, occur here, whether this is in your love life, your work life, personal, I feel like temperance is saying that there's been a specific amount of time that you've been waiting for, for something to happen and the tower is coming through to say, okay, it's here. I'm going to clarify soon to see what exactly this could be for you, but I just feel like this is you, you know, wanting a long awaited breakthrough, um, opening, you know, to happen here for some for, for some of you, it could be also connected to this expansion. Maybe it's you finally feeling financially ready to say, okay, I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to do that. Maybe this has been a journey that you've been waiting to go on for years, okay? And so I feel like after all that time, it's really starting to feel more possible. And that's all that matters. That's what this reading is saying. It's finally possible. It's not just a thought. It's not just something you've dreamt about. It's actually, you're capable of making it happen. With the Judgment and the Eight of Swords, I also feel like a lot of you are going through a real transformation of the mind and of the soul where you're starting to feel a lot less judgmental towards yourself. You're starting to feel a lot more graceful. You're starting to feel a lot lighter. I feel like Scorpio has gone through quite the change as far as internally, where I feel like we went through a period of being hard on ourselves in order to succeed. And because we felt like we had to do that to now being kinder and realizing, okay, that maybe, you know, our self-limiting beliefs served us, you know, to a point. And now we have to kind of change our judgment. We have to change how we approach ourselves because if we're trying to manifest from a place of self-love, we have to make that intentional, right? We have to actually give ourselves self-love. And Scorpio is the type of sign that is really good at giving out advice and helping other people achieve their self-love. We are great guides, but sometimes it's hard for us to take our own advice and we won't, it's hard for us to see ourselves through the lens of the people that we're talking to. You know, they may see us and say, oh, Scorpio, you're this and that. And then we look at ourselves in the mirror and we're like, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. But I feel like this is changing because I think that collectively, you know, Scorpio's going through a evolution of self, self-love, self-growth, and self-respect. I feel like a lot of us are really tuning into how powerful that is for manifestation. Um, and of course, this is happening to all signs in, in a lot of different ways, you know, on different levels, you know, everyone's going through a similar um, evolution because collectively all these things happen that way. But Scorpio specifically, I feel like is being a little less self-critical because i think at one point that was working for us you know but i think eventually we have to ask ourselves okay am i being you know logical or am i just being a little too harsh and with the page of wands i feel like overall scorpio you're trying to find a way to open up your horizons as far as how you can achieve the things you want instead of committing and sticking with the plan that you made for yourself when you were 18 right i think a lot of us um, you know, when we want to achieve something, we, we start early and we make this plan and we want to stick to it. And we say in five years, I'm going to do this. And then one year passes and we still stick with that same plan. Two years passes and things don't really look like they're going that way, but we will still stick to the same plan. And this to me is saying that you are opening yourself up to alternatives, to different solutions, to learning other ways, maybe things that you didn't think could happen. But I feel like you're just open to learning, open to absorbing and open to applying different methods to your process. Because again, this is all part of you not being so hard on yourself and not letting yourself stick to one dogma for all your life. You're giving yourself the opportunity to, to grow and not be stuck on just one thing. And with the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel like this is just you also releasing the need to always compare yourself now to who you were before. Um, I feel like this is saying that, you know, maybe sometimes you look back and say, oh, I was so much more this back then, or I was, you know, it could be as simple as, I don't know, maybe, you know, you think about what you looked like when you were younger and you might say, okay, well, I was so much, I don't know, fresher, or younger looking or whatever. I feel like you're releasing that kind of thought and embracing who you are now, who you're becoming. I feel like this is you kind of saying, you know what? Um, I had my moment, but this is another moment. This this stage of my life is just as wonderful, you know? And this doesn't obviously have to be a lo about looks. It could be about money as well. It could be about anything. This is maybe you just having that feeling of, well, I mean, six years ago, I had this and now I don't. So I just feel like overall, when it comes to thinking about the past and 
those negative thoughts, I feel like you're releasing them and starting to appreciate more, um, you know, what each phase, each stage of your life brings and just embracing the journey overall. Honestly, Scorpio, I feel like this is one of those readings that just really confirms that you're definitely evolving and giving yourself the opportunity to see life from a different perspective. Um, your perspective itself is always evolving, but right now there's a there's a very bigger uh, picture here. It's it's like your your third eye is opening a little bit more. You know, it's like each each stage of life that third eye opens, and this stage is very much about opening up. Um, you know, that different dimension for yourself. So really love this reading. It was very simple. I didn't really have to clarify any of the cards, but I think it's because the message itself is speaking. Um, and hopefully, you know, that was helpful. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.